Hi, welcome to Mel's YouTube channel. Thanks for joining us again. I hope that you are getting the most out of your home building yoga practice. Let us know also if you have any questions and feedback. We're always here to listen. So today's practice is just going to be more of a power style flow just to kind of keep us moving. However, I also always like to challenge you with core and I always like to challenge you with balance. So keep in mind those will be our intention. And as always, modify or intensify your practice as you would like today. Nobody's watching. With that being said, let's begin. Child's pose. As you come to your child's pose, I'm going to walk you into it first and then I'll join you next. So lengthen your arms out, however, keep them nice and soft, somewhat noodly. Open the knees to a comfortable distance that works in your body. Fall into child's posture. If you prefer a different style of breath, other than ujjayi, feel free to guide your way into it now. And complete about three to five breaths on your own, also matching the inhale to the exhale. Lengthen your arms out in front of you, coming into more of an extended child's pose. And inhale your weight right up into tabletop. Start moving into your body. Stack it, move around. We'll move through cow and cat together on our mats today, but it's always nice and natural to come into natural organized or unorganized movement here. And then find your way to a tabletop. Spread your fingers wide. Think of a starfish at the bottom of the ocean floor. Let your hand look similar. And let's begin with cow pose. Inhale, drop belly, lift heart. And exhale, round down. Press your shins heavy into the earth. And inhale, drop the belly. Draw your heart forward. Cat stretch, exhale, fully empty your lungs of breath. Give yourself that gift. And one more time, inhale, lift heart, draw shoulders back, the belly falls. Exhale, come back. Inhale, tabletop. Really stack everything strong here. Lengthen all four sides of your waist and just curl all 10 toes under. Firm your outer triceps in, and inhale, lift your knees and shins to a floating table off the mat. Keep the floating table as you exhale, draw your hips towards your heels. Dynamically, we move. Inhale, come back, tabletop to float. Exhale, hips back. Inhale, floating table, feel the thighs, feel that heat. Exhale, shift back. One more time, inhale, shift forward, floating. Exhale, hips going back towards your heels, hold it. Your arms are extended. Hips up, heels down, downward facing dog. Feel free to adjust your body as needed. Walk it out, paddle it out, and then move into the stillness. Build your prana, your breath. Inhale, guide your way into plank posture. Stack shoulders above ribs. Exhale, downward facing dog. Hips up, heels lower. Inhale, shift forward one straight line. Exhale, up and back. Use the strength of your abdominals. Two more times, inhale, gravitate forward. Exhale, go up and back. Next one, we linger, inhale, high plank pose. 
Exhale, stay and adjust accordingly. So alternative methods, knees down, no big deal. Breathe. Long neck, inner dialogue, what's it saying? Inhale, stay. Exhale, down, we're facing up. Inhale, right leg goes all the way up. Half scorpion, exhale, bend at the knee, flex at your foot and open your right hip. Avoid the lift of your right shoulder. Inhale, three-legged dog, square your hips. Down dog, exhale. Inhale, left leg, lift through the inner thigh. Exhale, half scorpion, bend and open. Inhale, three-legged dog, toes rotate down. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, lift heels, bend knees, gaze forward. And either tiptoe or step into a forward fold at the top of your mat, toes close or wide. Inhale, halfway up, hands to shin, the first round length of through the waistline. Exhale, fold as you ungrip all ten toes. Inhale, lift to rise. Side stretch, catch the left wrist and exhale to your right, hips to your left, chin up. Inhale, come up, catch the right wrist and exhale, stretch to your left. Inhale, find your way through center. Forward fold, hands chest, bend at the knees and hinge at the hips. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, high plank. Step one leg back at a time. Remember your alternative of knees down, otherwise you're right here along with me. As you inhale, lift your right leg up. Exhale, knee to right elbow, but nothing changed from the plank pose. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, knee toward elbow, breathe in, firm in. Inhale, back. Exhale, lower. Inhale, shift to the toes. Exhale, lower to your belly. Arms come into a goal post shape. Elbow in line with shoulders, wrists in front of elbow. Scoop the navel off the mat. Inhale, upper body lifts only. Goal post, arms, chin, chest, and arms. Exhale, hover. Inhale, lift chest, shoulders, arms. Exhale, hover. Inhale, lift chest and shoulders. Hold here on the exhale. On your next inhale, just lift your right leg a little bit up off the mat. Exhale, lower. Inhale, left leg lifts a little, belly button in. Exhale, lower. One more time. Both legs as an option. Inhale, both legs lift. Chest up, chin up. Exhale, flex feet. Place the toes down. Frame the ribs with your arms. Inhale, high plank. Down dog. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, heels high. Exhale, empty so you're nice and light. Step or float to the top into your fold. Half lift, elongate your body. Fold, exhale. Inhale, chair pose, hips go down, arms go up. Airplane wings, exhale, arms back. Option to scoop your heels up. Three more, inhale, heels down, arms up, hips low. Exhale, heels up, arms back. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. One more time, yogi. Stay with me. Inhale, heels down, arms all the way up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift, long in the spine. Exhale, chaturanga dandasana. One leg or a jump back. Inhale, upward facing. 
Downward facing dog, exhale. Build your breath. And moving through it again, inhale, heels up. Exhale, bend, gaze forward. Find your way there, step or float. Half lift, breathe in. Breathe out and fold. Inhale, chair pose as we move through our chair series. Very familiar. Exhale, arms back, heels up, chest is proud. Inhale, smile as you lower your heels, lift your arms. Exhale, tell yourself a kind thought, arms back, heels up. Two more times, so good. Inhale, heels down, arms up. Exhale. One more time, stay with me. Inhale, heels down, arms up. Exhale, heels up, arms back. Inhale, land your heels down, lift your arms up. Forward fold, exhale. Inhale, elongate. Exhale, one leg at a time or jump to Chaturanga Dandasana. Utilize your breath wisely to down dog. And one more time, inhale, heels, exhale, gaze forward, find your way to the top as you navigate your way to a forward fold, half lift, row your spine, exhale, fold. Chair series, getting warm in the lower half. Inhale, hips down, arms up. Firm your inner thighs in. Exhale, reach back, heart open. Maybe your heels still want to lift. Inhale, heels down, arms high. Exhale, reach back, heels up. Do what you can. Inhale, heels down, arms up. Use that breath. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, halfway, breathe in, Chaturanga Dandasana, ride the breath, low cobra is your alternative, and so is plank. Inhale, guide your right leg all the way up. Exhale, knee to right elbow and plank pose, just like we did in our warm-up. Inhale, right leg up and back. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, lift it up, smooth and control. Exhale, towards your left elbow, shift forward. Inhale, lift it up and back. Exhale, step through, setting up for our high press. And come to the tips of your fingers. Inhale, lift all the way up, shoulders above hips. Exhale, hips forward. Good. Inhale, breathe in and firm in. Exhale, lunge twist. Left hand down, right arm up. Inhale, high crescent lunge. Exhale, chaturanga, hands down. Ride through at either plank, which I'll demonstrate here. You can take akapada. Either way, find your way into downward facing dog yogi's choice. <sighs> Inhale, left leg leads. Exhale, knee, left elbow. <sighs> Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, knee towards chin, shift forward. Nice, you guys. Inhale, left leg. Exhale to the right. You can do this. Inhale, send it up. Now exhale, plant it through. Firm in first. Don't be in such a hurry to lift up all the time. Then inhale, crescent. Lift up, scoop in, and breathe. Inhale. 
Exhale, twist it into your lunge. Right hand, inner left foot, collarbones left. And look down, frame your left foot, step back. Find your way to downward facing dog. <sighs> Breath, movement. <sighs> Let's add on, inhale, right leg lifts up. Switching up our arm and knee. Exhale, knee to left elbow first. Stay here. Knee towards chin. Stay here. Round your back. Draw your chin, chin towards your thigh. And step it through. Inhale, high crescent lunge. More breath to movement this time. Go at your own pace if needed. Exhale, lunge twist. Stay right here. And either move towards horizon lunge to the outer left foot. Right foot can stay down or you can extend to side plank. So horizon lunge where we started, or side plank hold. Lift the top leg, mindfully travel back through lunge twist. Frame your right hand, step back through plank. We're all holding plank this time around. Lift right leg up, and set it down. Left leg, Lower it down, breathe. Downward facing dog, navigate. <sighs> Left leg lifts up, let's move. Exhale, knee, right elbow, take the shift. Knee to chin. Round the upper back just a little, lift and scoop in. And step through. High crescent lunge. Lunge, twist, right hand down, open up. Option for horizon lunge as I swivel to the right outer edge of foot. Keep my left leg down or side plank, staggering, stacking. If you're in horizon, stay there. If you're in side plank, bring your left leg back down to the ground. We all pivot back through lunge, twist. Hands down, high plank, we hold it again, different alternative. Inhale, right leg, exhale, knee to left elbow while in plank. Send it back, set it down. Left leg lifts, send it to the right, straight back, hold it down. Option to flow through chaturanga or downward facing dog, I'll give you time. Inhale, heels up. Exhale, find your way to the top of your mat. Forward fold. Half lift, breathe in. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, rise all the way up to stand. Lift up from the ground up. Hands to heart center, some is deep to heat. Roll your shoulders back, loosen your jaw. If you close your eyes, blink them back to open. Place your arms by your side and inhale through chair. Your hips go down and your arms will lift. In this version, we're gonna bring our hands to our heart space. Scoop the navel in. We'll move through an eagle posture with left leg taking the wrap first. Stay low in your hips. Strong in your upper region, and inhale, lift your left leg. Exhale, wrap it around your right. So kickstand, perfect. Full wrap, perfect. Stack shoulders and stay lifted upright. Squeeze your legs like you're squeezing a garden hose and you're constricting that blood flow. Are you tense in your jaw? Are you clenching your brow line? Keep your hands at your heart space. 
Inhale, one leg Tadasana with your lower half. L shape your leg. Inhale, travel back through warrior three. We have not yet been here. Take your time and settle into it. Hips square to the mat. Toes rotate down towards the earth. Bend your standing leg, your right. Warrior one. Anchor the back heel down. Inhale, lift your arms up. Draw your right hip back a little. And spiral your thumbs back. As you inhale, lengthen your right leg. As you exhale, open twist with your upper half. Both palms are going to face the right side of your mat, the long edge. Draw your shoulders down and micro bend your elbows. Hold the open twist and the straight legs and inhale, reach forward towards the top short edge of your mat. You might know where we're going on the exhale to revolve triangle pose. If you have a block, feel free to use it. Place your hand on your shin, right arm open. So you think long waist and breathe. Ungrip your right toes, but press the right big toe maybe firmer. Rotate your gaze down. Frame your right leg. Bend the right leg. Pivot the left heel. And step into chair pose. Feet together, hips lower down. Inhale, sweep arms up. It's our chair series. Exhale, guide them back. Optional heel lift. Three more from your inner thighs. I know you're getting tired. Inhale, heels down, arms up. Exhale, reach back, heels up. Two more, yogi. Stay with me. Inhale. Exhale. One more time. So good. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, send it back. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, stand tall, samastitihi. Arms by your side, palms forward, lift up through the waist. Inhale, chair pose, the hips go down, the arms go high. And exhale, hands to heart. Spread your collarbones and stay active here. Palms press really firm. As your hips stay low, we're going to our second side. Inhale, lift the right leg, stay low. Exhale, tourniquet wrap around the left, either kickstand or double wrap, it doesn't matter. That's what's great about a home practice is nobody's watching, right? No ego can exist. Breathe. Inhale, one leg Tadasana. Your knee is in line with your right hip and your heel is below your right knee. And travel to the back. Inhale here. Warrior three. Hips square, torso is long, right pinky toe turns down the best that you can. Bend the left leg about an inch or two. Find warrior one with the anchor of the right heel and the lift of both arms. Perhaps you even adjust your footing. Inhale, straighten your front leg. Exhale, open twist to the left. Palms face that direction, micro bend the elbows. Now stay long from the ground up as you inhale, reach towards the top edge of your mat with your right hand. Exhale to revolve, trikonasana, triangle pose, hand to shin, ground or your prop. So even though we have a block, not everyone has a block at home, you can utilize anything that provides a little elevation for you. A book, a candle, breathe. And gaze down, frame your left leg, 
bend at the knee, spin your right heel, chair pose. Feet touch, hips down, inhale, arms up. Forward fold, exhale, hips high. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, high plank, where we all come into our plank pose. Breathe. We'll come into a side plank series, just like we did before. Left hand toward right hand. Drop your heels left. Stagger option one, stack option two. Lift your right arm up. Alternative is to come back to that right foot down in front of left leg and breathe. So this version, you're welcome to add on by lifting that top leg. Maybe you take a tree pose here in side plank. Lift up through your hips and avoid the sink of your joints. If your leg is up of the right side, extend it back. Wherever you chose to go, meet me again in high plank pose. Walk your right hand to your left, your heels go to the right. Again, stagger, stack, or lift. Lift your hips, breathe, stay strong. Stack or stagger your legs if it was lifted. Come back, high plank. Optional chaturanga to down dog, lift hips, lower heels, I'll meet you there. And inhale, lift your heels up. Prepare to come to the top. Exhale, bend knees. As you travel to the top of your mat, crouch and curl when you arrive. Bend the knees, lift the heels. Fingertips can stay right on the mat. You can hug the front of your shins, opposite elbow hold like in ragdoll. Breathe. Start to engage your core. We're coming in through core work if you have not guessed yet. Option to keep your hands off the mat or on as you lift the spine and restack each and every vertebrae. Your inner thighs are forming in. You're still on the curl down below. Reach your arms forward, thumbs up, shoulders back. And from here, we'll be going into Navasana with no hands. It's just kind of fun to play around with our balance. So see if you can kind of hinge back with your bottom land it onto the mat, and then lift your legs up, bend at the knees to start. So remember your options here in Navasana. You can always have your hands behind your uh, thighs, hamstrings, arms forward, legs straight. Take one that feels best, but keep your chest towards your thighs and your thighs drawing back towards your chest. We're adding on though in two more breaths. So take what you need, leave what you don't now. Scoop your navel in and start to sink your boat. Shift the legs forward, tuck the tailbone towards the top edge of your mat. And once again, float your boat, chest to thighs. Yes, good job. And come back, sink your boat the best you can. Keep that heart open. And come back up to float that boat. Two more times and lower down, scoop the navel in. And all the way up. And lower down. Hold it here. Lift your legs up. Sweep your hands behind your head. Lower your left leg to hover. And lift it back up. Right leg hovers. Spread your collarbones. Engage your underarms. So good, you guys. And up. Option is stay with your chest lifted or now start to rotate it into a straight leg bicycle. Alternative is bent legs, switch and switch. I'll have you just go whatever piece feels good for your practice. Always okay to take a rest. I'll offer the bend so you can see what that looks like. Traditional bicycle. You can always have your feet on the mat. Keep going. Breathe. And four. And three. Two. One. Come center, knees in, and lower the back of your head and shoulders onto your space. 
And just take any necessary movement here after for a counter stretch. Pause at the center. Place your hands lightly on the back of your thighs and roll your body all the way up. When you do, cross at the ankles. Step back, move through Chaturanga if you'd like. Down dog, little unit. And inhale, guide your right leg all the way up. As you exhale, draw your knee to your left elbow, adding on. Stay right where you are or send it through to falling star. Stack shoulders, lift left arm. Definitely lift your hips up, hold. Rotate back down, draw your knee to your nose, staying in this three-point plank variation. Step your right foot through, spin your back heel down. Warrior two, warriors, inhale, get up. Exhale, side angle, reach, hinge. Inhale, reverse, warrior. Exhale, chaturanga. Circle your hands down, move breath to movement. Plank or low cobra are still available. Downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg. Exhale, knee to right elbow. Option one, stay. Option two, extend the leg. Open up, falling star. Pivot forward, hands under shoulders. Knee to your chin. Step it through, spin the back foot. Warrior two as you windmill open. Exhale, side angle, tick tock, engage your waist. Inhale, reverse warrior, one breath. Exhale, chaturanga, circle it, and ride the breath. Downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg goes up. Exhale, half pigeon pose, knee wrist. Flex your right foot, lengthen your back leg, lift up. And when you're ready, fall in. So for today's pigeon, option one will just be to stay right here. If you wanna play around, if you have a king pigeon in your practice and you wanna kick the back heel up, come up again and catch the foot, there's always king pigeon. Flex your back foot. You can take one or both hands. So lift up. And just play around with your practice a little bit. Two more breaths. Whatever alternative you chose, find your way back with hands under shoulders. Lift your chest, a different exit. Come over to your right seat. Guide your left leg all the way around. We're gonna take a seated spine stretch. Place your left foot on the outer right thigh. Crawl your right foot away so you don't sit on it. Lift up through your spine, left fingers behind you, close to you, right arm up, breathe in. And exhale, take the twist. Oftentimes, I like to just hook the front of my knee. Other times, it's outer right tricep to outer left thigh. So if you're here and it means you're here, just hook, breathe. So even though the gaze can go all the way to the back, keep it center with where your front body is. Rotate your gaze back first. Unravel your spine. Travel through Navasana. You can lean back, send the legs up. Inhale here. Exhale, crisscross applesauce. Find your way into Chaturanga to downward facing dog.
Left leg lifts up. Exhale to your half pigeon setup. Lengthen, lift, and lower. And if you played around on the other side, think about it on this side. If you want to take that pigeon, maybe you don't go into it until you're on your third, fourth, or fifth breath because you're a little bit warmer and you give up that fight. Remember not to slingshot your leg back. <sighs> Whatever you did choose to travel to, come back quietly. Hands under shoulders as we all lift up and roll to the left side of our seat. Guide our right leg. Let it come all the way to the outer left. Walk your left foot so you can sit down flat. Right hand behind this time. Left arm up. And twist. Hook. Or go for the full expression. What feels better? What feels right? I always like to close my eyes once I really start coming down onto my mat. It just keeps me within my practice. Return your gaze, and then your body. Once you come back, place your feet flat, hip width. Your hands are behind you already. Turn them the opposite direction towards the back short edge of your mat. Let's just take a reverse tabletop one time. Inhale, lift up. Stay for the exhale and drop your head. Inhale, lift your head. Exhale, bend, lower all the way down. Lift up through your chest and come on your backs. Slow and mindful. Arms are by your side, walk your feet closer, hip width still. We'll take one bridge. If you want to take a wheel pose, feel free. On your inhale is when the hips will lift. So think low back and middle back are up. If you add it on with a bind below or if you're in full wheel, start to make your transition down, unbind your hands, return your spine all the way down to the sacrum, the coccyx, down to the mat, and gather your knees inward. Give yourself a nice good squeeze. Legs tabletop. Cross your right leg all the way over your left as if you're taking your eagle bind like we did in the beginning. Maybe you will want to for your spinal twist. Open your arms out, shoulder height, palms down. And lower your knees to the left side. Transitioning to our final spinal with eagle bound legs. Single or double wrap. Close your eyes, anchor your right shoulder. And breathe. Draw your gaze back. You can unwrap your legs first and then return to center. Give them a squeeze and feel an alignment happen. Tabletop, arms to a T and cross left over right. Let your legs gently fall over to the right side. Single or double wrap. And just bring it to your last and final spinal twist.
Bring everything back in your own time to the center of your space. Give yourself a last squeeze or any second to last posture that feels best for you before we all start to find a way into Shavasana together. And let's go ahead and fall in. Take any shape that feels best. I'm going to just straighten my legs, let my feet fall heavy, and pivot the palms up, tuck my shoulders underneath. Create some space between the top and bottom row of teeth. Let go, let be. So wiggle your fingers and your toes, maybe lick your lips or swallow. Bring your knees in. And you can either roll to your favorite side to transition to a seat, or simply just roll up to a seat. Close your eyes, hands to your heart space, ground down through your bottom. Draw your thumbs up towards your third eye and learn to trust our intuition and knowledge. Let it lead the way. Thank you for joining us here at Mel on YouTube. We look forward to seeing you again next time. My honor, my pleasure. Have a fabulous day. Namaste. Melters, be safe, be happy. We'll see you soon.